Hey everyone, today's video is the beginning of a little series that's pretty different for me and it's about decorating home decor interior design and I think if you've seen any part of my home you can tell that that is not where my talents lie. It's time to update the house. It's been a while. We were kind of in a holding pattern for a few years debating are we moving, are we not moving, stuff around the neighborhood happening or not happening that was going to sort of inform what we did with the house. Well. COVID hit and we've decided to just hunker down in this place for the foreseeable future, which means it's time to update. Let me take you on a very real tour of what's going on in our house and the changes that we have planned. Let me just set the stage for you here. We have been on almost back-to-back -back road trips for two weeks. We went to Colorado for a week. We were home less than a week and hit the road again for almost a week to visit the boys so the house is in shambles we still haven't even completely unpacked i just wanted to put that out there that normally my house is a little more together than what you're about to see let's start in the kitchen because this is where it's going to start so what started this project is it's time to repaint the kitchen cabinets we had them painted in 2011 they haven't been updated or touched up since then and with two big dogs um in that process this is things like this happen. We are going to be painting the cabinets just a solid white, nothing exciting. We're using Sherwin-Williams Snowbound, but we're just gonna go with a solid oil-based um, satin finish, and that's really the big thing here. We are looking to replace the pulls, more of that linear bar type thing that's big right now, so I haven't picked those out yet. Look how bad that is. That's all Bosley right there. He was a good dog, but man, did he love getting into the garbage. And that's the bulk of what's happening in the kitchen, except we are repainting and getting rid of all the yellow. We're painting every room on the first floor on the back half of the house. So the kitchen, breakfast room behind me, family room, that little inlet, and then the master bed and bath, not the closet, not the laundry room. The other big thing we're doing here is this has always made me crazy. That light is centered on the window and the island but the because of the way it's cut on an angle it's actually off center to where you eat so we are moving that to be centered over where the table goes and then we are raising it because it is too low and everybody bangs their head on that i should also say we are repainting all the trim all the doors throughout the entire first floor so that's what's going on in here. In here, the only changes are paint. Eventually, we're getting new ceiling fans. These are too small for the size of the room and I don't like this style. We are also going to be moving some things around. That blue chest of drawers is moving. I'll show you where in a minute. And I'm putting a big mirror right there. And that's going to be my selfie spot. The light is fabulous there. This is leaving. This is moving into the dining room space and that blue chest that I just showed you right there is going right here. It's a little better scale. I'm sure you're wondering what's going on here. So we took the painting down, as you can see, that was there, and I learned about a company called Sampleize. I'll put the link in the description box below, and you can order basically any paint that's ever been made from any brand, and they are peel and stick. They're like giant post-it notes. So Snowbound is the trim color, and there were, these are a few shades that I'm not actually using, but you can peel them and stick them off. You know, they just come off and then you can move them around and look at them in different lights in different rooms. It's been amazing and a huge help in figuring out what color we're going with. Let's talk about the changes happening here. I am not painting the blue, but we are doing a new trim, repainting the doors, just brightening everything up. Bannister, we're keeping the spindles white, but when they put in the wood floor, they just left the risers just flat paint. So we're putting a semi-gloss throughout. But then the big thing is going on here. We've already started the transformation. Let me start here. We are move changing this room into basically a giant dining room and it's kind of already underway. Mostly because I never use this room as anything other than to eat or do projects on the dining room table. The white sideboard buffet thing is going here this buffet is going on that wall those bookshelves are going into the game room because it's a good spot for them now it's not like kids are running around and wrestling up there i will center this better but the dining room table is going that way this chandelier is going bye-bye we're putting in a new one that will be centered over the table 
and it's in that box right there. <laughs> we also ordered new um, vanity lights for our bathroom, but that's a whole different discussion. This antique piece that's been in Michael's family for generations is staying put. This brass shelving unit is going back into the guest room. We brought it down just to kind of see. Instead, we're getting two smaller, like very small, almost accent upholstered chairs here and a little round table in between. That's leaving. And then we are changing the fabric. And by we, I mean me. So this is the fabric that I had put on myself years and years ago when we originally bought this dining set. Um, it's time to update it and I'm, I'm okay with that. So I just took off the first layer more so I can measure what I need to order. This was the original that it came with. Oof, bad. So moving into the master bedroom sort of area, like I mentioned, this is going into the family room. Big mirror here, more of the samples <laughs> that I'm testing. I put them here um, because they're right against the white trim, so it's easier to see what they're really gonna look like. And then in here, again, just paint. Um, this Whatever color we choose, I'm on the fence between two, to be honest. Whatever paint we choose for the kitchen family room will can probably continue in here, although we like it a little dark and cozy, so I may go with just a slightly darker gray. That is a not happening. That's accessible beige, and it's pretty. It's just too beige for what I want. It's a beautiful color. In the bathroom, which is, it's a disaster. Just ignore it. We are painting the cabinets the same oil-based white as the kitchen cabinets, and then... Phase two, I know we're doing it a little backwards, but we will be replacing the countertops, the fixtures. We did order, they're sitting in my dining room. One more thing I should mention is we are replacing this cooktop. It's a four burner. At the time when this was replaced, this is a 30 inch cooktop. They only had four burners. Now they make five burners that fit in a 30 inch cooktop space. So we're ordering a new one of those. And we are probably going to get a new refrigerator as well but um, I haven't looked as closely into that. We have picked out what we want for this one though. Here we go, calm before the storm. It's uh, about 8.10. Painters are supposed to be here at 8.30 and I've cleared all the countertops. I even removed all the hardware. We're not touching up this, so we left that alone. Um, removed all the hardware except for in front of the sink. I don't have a short enough screwdriver to maneuver, so he can do that. Oop, gotta remove Michael's snack stash. Here we go. Hopefully in two and a half days, this will just look fresher. I really like how they're taping up the whole floor too. They're gonna tape the whole floor um, when they're all done. That's as far as they've gotten. So looks like they have removed all the cabinet fronts so far, taped the inside of the cabinets, and then of course they're gonna do the same for the drawer fronts. So this is just uh, today. Tomorrow they're gonna finish up in the kitchen and then do the um, bathroom. So this is one coat of primer and one coat of paint. He's gonna sand it a little, like things like, this is the imprint from the old handles that I had on. So he's gonna sand stuff like that down and he's gonna do a full second coat on everything. Those he just sprayed really quickly. He didn't have a uh, short screwdriver to get those off. So he's gonna bring one tomorrow and then he's gonna repaint those. But that is what it looks like. Really clean, really shiny. I mean, it won't stay shiny, it's a satin finish. And then all the cabinet doors, I will show you, hang on. We did a big clean out of the garage. <laughs> and these are all the doors and drawer fronts for the most part, there are some in the house. And this again is just sanded primer and one coat of paint. And then tomorrow, another a little light sand and another coat of paint. And then he puts them all back up and installs the new hardware. So we are moving along. We are on to the electric portion of this remodel. So we are swapping out the foyer light. It's already been pulled out. Yes, I think these are 20 foot ceilings is what we figured out. And then we're getting ready to move center and, rate and swap that out completely. Sconces are going in and we have spent quite a lot of time measuring where they go. It's pieces of the sconce. It's not gold and it's not silver. It's kind of in between. So no matter what else I do in this room, it'll go with everything. And there is our new ceiling fan, ready to go. The electrician and crew are done for the day. Here is the new chandelier. 
I'm thinking it might be a little too high now, but at this point, I'm just happy it's been moved. You can see in the light, you can barely see it, but they did read that, you can see it. So that'll be painted when they do the painting next week. See, this is what happens. You start messing with stuff and then you're like, you know what, I don't know if I like that. So now I'm thinking I need a bigger chandelier over that. But what I, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm just happy that I can have guests sit at my table at some point and nobody's gonna smack their head because that was like a daily occurrence. Then, kind of hard to see, but we got a new ceiling fan that is four to six inches longer, I think. And so I actually can feel air blowing beyond just a small area. So that's kind of exciting. We have the new foyer light, which I guess is kind of hard to see with the lights on. It looks awesome in person. And then there is a small problem with that fixture. You know, let me turn the lights off so you can see. So it is very high up in the air. It's where I want it in the room. The problem is the chain is short. So we just ordered two and a half more feet of chain link or chain, and he's coming back Wednesday to lower it down a little bit. And here we have our sconces and he was gonna run the plug down the wall and then plug into the outlets there, but I decided just easier to get cord covers. They look kind of cool. So those are coming in a week or so and I can install those myself. And then we have a new ceiling fan there. And then both ceiling fans come with remotes, which is kind of fun. Also, I can change the light on both of them to be warmer or cooler and dimmer or brighter. So, God, this house. This is what I hate about doing things in the house. It just, it's kind of uncomfortable. The change part is, is not fun for me at all. I, I know I'm gonna love the finished product, but the process makes me a little crazy. Like I just get edgy, I don't sleep, I don't like having people in my house all day. I'm sure everyone feels the same way. There's always little surprises that you're not planning on. Rowdy, how are you doing? Rowdy and friends will be going to the kennel next week. Yes, they will, because we can't have them here with the painters. It would just not be good for them. And what do you think of all this? You happy, you like the new lights? Yeah. I forgot to show you the bathroom lights real quickly. They're the new light fixtures. They're kind of, they're clear, so they're kind of hard to see and they have vintage lights. Woo, very bright. So that's what it looks like there. And now I know for sure that whatever I get, whether it's quartz, quartzite, granite, I don't want white. This is a lot of white happening. So I kind of, a long time ago had seen granite or some kind of stone that looked a lot like river rock but smooth and I think that would make for a really pretty surface if I can find it. So next project is going to the slab yard and picking out a slab and getting a fabricator to install it. Did you see these? Aren't these pretty? This I'm excited about, the new handles. Remember the bookshelves that were there? They have been moved. We actually had to hire movers to do this last bit. They just left. So Michael and I, over the weekend, moved the smaller ones, but this, this was a bear. It's big, it's wide, it's tall, and the staircase curves, so we just had a moving company come move this upstairs. So I have turned <laughs> this desk into my new office slash makeup getting ready area. <clears throat> so ignore that. This is my game room. I don't know if I ever take you guys up here. Somewhere under there is a cash sectional and an ottoman and a fun chair. But these books now need to go, well, I have to put the shelves back in and so forth. And um, some memory boxes, like boxes full of important documents and things like that. Those will go back in the guest room closet that we just emptied. There's things to be done, clearly, here. Uh, I have no plans to really change any of the window treatment. We just don't go up here. So it's just not worth doing really anything up in this area. There we go. <laughs> this is my project for today. Okay, they broke for lunch, so I'm coming down to see how it's going. Wow, okay, you can really see the difference. So first coat is on. That's egret, okay, I don't remember what color that is. That's egret white, and that is the old color. They're doing two coats. They are taking off the switch plates and stuff, don't worry. Oh, he already cut in in here. Nice. It's, it's a strange color, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it's a strange color in that it looks so different in different lights and it's still soaking wet. So like, look at it on this wall. It looks like 
agreeable gray or worldly gray over there. Wow, look at my family room. Okay, that's why you don't do your whole house at once. We have uh, evacuated to the upstairs. Here we are at the end of stage one and I'm ending it here even though everything is not perfect and pretty because that's how real life home renovation or home refreshing or whatever you wanna call this goes. It's not all done in one fell swoop and it doesn't end with everything clean. So let me show you where we're stopping for now and we'll talk about next stages. Let's start in the most finished, you can see shop back and mop and okay. Anyway, kitchen is basically done for now. Cabinets done, light fixture moved, everything's good. Next stage, we're gonna drop two pendant lights over the island, move that can light to be in line with those two and then retexture and repaint the whole ceiling. Family room is done. We are not hanging anything back up on the walls. One, to just let everything cure and settle, but two, I really am not in a hurry to put anything back. I wanna really think about where everything is gonna go. Um, in the process of doing all this, I did wash all the pillow covers and then didn't really think about what it's gonna to take to put them all back and some of them are leaking feathers, and I think some of these actually go on my bed, so that is a project to be determined. I know I said I was gonna put a mirror here. I'm not, more on that later. We're gonna put some art here. I don't know what kind of art, but art will be put there. I still have to dress the bed, still have to wash the floors, and put, the only thing that I know is for sure going back is the mirror is going back there, and the painting we had is going back there. Everything else is done, just have to put everything away. Bathroom. Can you see everything shoved in my closet? This is essentially done. I have to wash down the countertops, wash the floors, do all the washing part. Stage two will include new countertops. Now let's go to the part that's really still a work in process. So this was the last room that they finished today. They did all the trim work today. So we're not putting anything back for probably two days because it's oil paint. I want it to be very dry. But this antique piece from Michael's family is going here. We used to have a bench here and it actually works really well for a selfie mirror. Don't I look cute? All the trim was done here. There's all the art and various paintings, all the trim work, even the study doors were done. The stairs are looking shiny and clean. Everything white was touched up and done again. And then same with here. We really can't put anything back until the trim cures and is really dry. And then we'll put everything back we did lower the chandelier. I think it looks fine. It's kind of hard to judge considering the chaos that is going on here. So this ends part one of a multi-stage series. I don't know how many there will be because I don't know how long this whole home refresh is going to take, but we have a few plans for stage two and I have a feeling there will be stage three and so on. I hope that you found this interesting, helpful. Any questions that I didn't answer, please ask them in the comments below. I've listed all the resources, everything that I know. If anything's linkable, I put it down there. If you're interested in any of the furniture that you see, if I didn't link it, please let me know. I will tell you where it's from and if it's still available, I will do that as well. I hope you are well. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.